Hello, happy Monday, and welcome to Mindful Monday with Tamara and the University of California, Davis, and the Live Well Department. So it's a lovely day here in Davis. I'll be teaching from the back porch. It's not too hot, it's just right. Like, uh, you know, like the story. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And of course, I'm still hydrating and drinking my, my favorite um, kombucha. Slow reveal. This is not an advertisement, it's just my favorite kombucha. <laughs> and to remind you to stay hydrated, to drink lots of water, especially if you're in California, because it's very dry here. All right, so today for Mindful Monday, we'll be taking it really slow, really relaxed. We're gonna start the week chilling. I like this uh, rhythm that we have. We start the Monday super relaxed, super chill. On uh, Wednesdays, we pump it up with the hardcore vinyasa. On Thursdays, we're speaking Spanish. And on Fridays at noon, we're doing mobility. So there's a little bit for everyone. There's also, there's so many classes. We have so many online classes with different formats, different amazing teachers, each one with their, their own amazing offerings. So there's a lot to choose from. So just stay tuned, follow UC Davis Campus Recreation and tune in to one of our numerous online classes. We have fitness, we have um, uh, hit, we have strength, we have mobility, we have different styles of yoga. There's so much that you can do online. All you need is to really carve out that time in your day and carve out also some space at home or wherever you're at. So we'll need, yes, some open space for this class. Just make sure that you move the furniture to the side. And we'll also need a cushion to sit on. So Mindful Monday, we'll be doing some meditation. Um, and I'm, I also have with me a yoga block. If you don't have a specific yoga block, you can use uh, a stack of books anything that is solid and firm and um, or and in addition you can also have more cushions so there's many ways that you can um, you know use different elements at home to um, instead of these specific elements so you don't have to have a yoga block um, i also like to always keep a blanket <clears throat> It makes it much uh, so much more comfortable to work on the floor and also it's good for the padding of the knees all right I think that's all we'll need of course we'll need that full hour of undivided attention but if you can't practice the whole hour that is totally okay you can only practice a portion of the class and that is totally okay What's important is that you have at least a few minutes every day to move, to take care of yourself, to check in with yourself, and you know, self-care. So important to have this time of self-care. I'll be playing some music from DJ Soul Rising in the background. Here it is, it's coming a little bit closer. All right, so hopefully we don't hear so much the, the cars passing by because I am next to Cobell, for those of you who are familiar with Davis. A little bit higher. Okay, if you are watching, if anyone is watching right now and can give me feedback about the audio, that would be amazing. I still haven't invested on the, the little microphone. Kind of expensive, these uh, equipment for online classes but i think it's worth it so i'll give you guys that gift sooner or later okay so let's come to our seat so i'm gonna scoot back a little bit
movement, you can sit cross-legged or you can sit with your knees folded back like this. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. All right. See if I can be in the shade rather than in the sun. Okay, so once you've found a comfortable seated position and you've made all the necessary adjustments, we'll commit to staying still. That's really important in meditation because if we continue to adjust and to fidget, we'll never stay still. So do all your fidgeting right now. Fidget, fidget. Shake it out. Let's move our head a little bit. And let's twist. Twist and move. Just get it out. Get all the all the fidgeting out of the way. I'm still fidgeting. I'm still gonna move a little bit more back into the shade. make this the commitment to stay in our seated posture. Take a deep breath, reach the arms up. Exhale, release. Let's do two more. Nice and slow. hands rest on your knees, on your thighs. Let your body lean back a little bit and soften your belly. Let the belly relax, let the hips sink heavy into their seat. Take the shoulders back and down. Open the chest. Keep the head parallel, chin parallel to the floor. Soften the face. Soften the eyelids, the cheeks, the lips. Let there be some space between your teeth. Releasing your jaw. Relax the base of the tongue back in your throat. And breathe deep into the back of the throat, creating a lot of space for the breath there. Let everything drop in and relax here. Bring your attention to your breath. Notice how the breath expands your rib cage and how it softly releases on the exhale. Exhale, allow yourself to drop in a little bit deeper into your seat, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more heavy.
and just notice if there's any part of your body that is still gripping, that is still tense. And bring your attention there, taking a few deep breaths as if you could breathe space into that place of tension, in that place of holding. And send not only the energy of the inhale there, but allow that letting go of the exhale to have an effect in that specific space. In this way, you're scanning your body for different places of tension, different places of holding. And taking a few breaths, a few deep breaths in that space. And encouraging it to soften and release. Stay here for 10 more full breaths. Exhale through your mouth. Softly open your eyes, open your hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bringing your hands to center. Let's do two more big breaths, reaching out through the fingertips. Exhaling, drawing down through your center. One more. And bring your left fingertips to the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm up and over. Big stretch. Look up towards the sky and down towards the floor, opening up, moving the ribcage, 
Inhale to come up. And let's go to the other side. Reaching up and over. And then gently turning the ribs to look down and to look up. One side, turn your head to the opposite opposite side and reach that arm far, far, far away. Exhale, change sides. Inhale, reach to the other side. Exhale to change and keep going side to side. Inhale here, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, change. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to the knees. And bring the feet to the floor about hip width apart. With your inhale, lift the arms, lift the hips. Exhale, slowly bring it all back down. Keep moving with the breath, articulating through spine vertebra for vertebra
the next time that your hips come up, hold up, hook your thumbs like making a little butterfly, and reach your arms far overhead. Keep lifting your hips and come up onto your tippy toes. And lift the hips. back to the floor. Keep your arms out for stability. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring them down. Let's do three more. right ankle and bring it all the way down to the floor to the left keep the right knee high open the right arm reach out towards the right side change sides. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring it down. Oh no, wait, we forgot. So first, interlace your hands behind your right thigh, extend the leg, circle the ankle, spread the toes. Circle your ankle in both directions. of your knees and rock here back and forth. Maybe your feet 
touch the floor overhead. Maybe not. It's fun to find out. And come up and turn around to come to all fours. Shake your hips. Take your feet wide as your mat. Bend one knee and then the other side to side. And slowly walk your hands towards your feet. Bend the knees, bend the knees. Shake your head. And slowly roll up to standing. And I'll tilt it up a little bit. All right. Hi, Mark. You're awesome, too. All okay. And standing with your feet wide. Shake out the arms for a moment. And now roll the shoulders back and down. All right, we're gonna create a wave with our body. So for this wave to, to happen, we need to think about taking our body, so this is the the plumb line, the center of gravity. So think about taking your knees forward, then your hips, then your chest, and then your chin. And everything kind of follows. Soft, waving the body. around you. 
Have a moment of gratitude for this time, for this space. Have a moment of gratitude for this life. <sighs> Take a deep breath, exhaling through your mouth. Release the arms, reach up. On your exhale, turn your toes forward, bend the knees, and reach the floor. And walk your hands and your feet to downward dog. to each side. And press back, come into a child's pose. Take big breaths into the back body, into the back of the ribs. Exhale through your mouth. Good, go ahead and lift the hips. 
One more to each side. And downward dog. Pedal your feet. And inhale, take the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip.
<clears throat> and now lift the back heel, the right heel, bring it under your hips and sit on the back heel, on the, yeah, so toes are on the floor, if you can see, toes down, heel up, and I'm sitting on the heel, and sit upright, now bring the hands to the floor, keep the feet where they are, and just switch the knees, and open up here, one more, switch, Hands down and walk your feet to downward dog. Pedal it up. All right. Come forward to plank. Exhale down to your belly.
You can use your blanket or you can use an extra cushion. We're gonna bring support under the hip the, of the leg that goes forward. And we'll use the cushion under our belly as well. So from downward dog, bring your right knee forward towards your right wrist and we'll bring the blanket under the right hip. If you like, you can also bring the blanket all the way under your hips across. So if you see, it goes from side to side. And make sure that the right foot is flexed and that you're not feeling any pinching sensation in the knee. If you feel anything uncomfortable in the knee, Bring the heel closer to your hips. Extend the other leg back. Bring the cushion close to your belly. Extend your spine, reach tall. Exhale, let yourself drape over the cushion and bring your forehead to rest on the block. And remember that there's different there's three sides to the block, so it can be on the lower side, medium, or high. So whichever feels comfortable and relaxing to you.
I'm gonna bring us a little bit closer to the wall. Oops. All right. Okay. So we'll be on the wall. How's that? Perfect. Okay, so for this final resting pose, make yourself as comfortable as possible. Let's bring the blanket and make a nice roll with the blanket. We'll also bring the cushion. So we're going to have our hips on the cushion and kind of have our body slide back. So bring the cushion all the way against the wall. The blanket is going to be next. So we're creating a very nice support for our spine here. Sit down next to the wall and lay back, lay on the floor. And now roll over, bring your feet to the wall, press the feet into the wall to lift the hips and scoot over so that your body, so your hips are close to the wall and your legs are straight up on the wall. Open the arms. rest here. You can bring your feet to the wall and let your knees drop out to the sides. This also feels amazing. can stay here as long as you like. You can also come back to your mat. Lay on your spine with your knees under the cushion. Let this be your final resting position for today. Let your spine stabilize and completely release here. Let go. And I will say goodbye. And thank you for following. If you followed through this whole class, 
and you would like to comment about it, let me know how it felt for you, how it lands in your body, please send me a note. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you again on Wednesday for hardcore yoga vinyasa. We're gonna be lifting up, pumping up the volume, raising the heat, raising the inner fire. So be prepared for Wednesday class. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. Love you lots. Take care.